Ah, I'm in a hurry. Oh, buddy, am I in a hurry. Woo! I just had my interview. I think it went awesome. Uh, <laughs> we will find out soon enough within the next week or so. We will find out how awesome it went. And now I have about an hour from right now to get out and see the rocket launch. And I hopefully will get there in 45 minutes with 15 minutes to spare, but you never know. Definitely are a lot of factors between here and the Space Coast. Let's get some good karma going right here. We gotta make it 45 minutes from now. Let's do it. Yeah, it's 10.37 right now. Rocket goes up 10 or 11.34. Uh, let's do it. Let's make it there by 11.15. We got this. All right, 20 minutes till launch, and I have to get through badging and get up to the to the press site. I think I can do it. If not, we'll just watch from the side of the road somewhere. Uh, it should be pretty good still. We'll see how far I make it. I have to get to there in like 15 minutes. You guys think I can do it? Heck yeah, look, there's people pulled over already waiting to see it go up. All right. Look, it's like a party. This is a rocket party. We're going to Jupiter! Man, talk about a perfect day. Look at how nice it is out here. Lots of people out at the visitor oh, out at the visitor's complex. It's a good sign. Alright, I'm on property. Now I need to get to where I'm going. And of course I missed my turn. Nice job, Tim. I got 10 minutes to get to the VAB. I hope I can do it. Of course, that's a giant building, so it looks a lot closer than it really is. But we're trying to get there as quick as I can without speeding. So far, so good. We're here within good time. Let's see if we can make it into a parking spot. Ding dang. I could have waited. I could have gotten changed. Oh well, we're on an five, extra five minute hold. I'm gonna keep it inside the tent. Listen to what's going on. They say that there's a problem with the helium system on the rocket, but they're saying that it's on the ground, not on the actual vehicle, so more than likely we'll be launching today. I hope so. I got out here really quick. This is what we're watching here in the tent to see what's going on. Good to go. Now all we got is a boat. Some guy in a boat's out in the middle of the range waiting to see it go off or something. So they're waiting for him to move, and then we're gonna start our countdown again. Good news is we still got about 50 minutes left on our on our window, so we'll more than likely no, we're going up today. That's what's gonna happen. We should be going on our countdown here pretty soon. We should be ready to go back into our four-minute hold, but still 25 after, so we got about 10 minutes to go. Let's see here. Everybody's some fresh people here. Rocking out. We're ready for the launch. But how much time do we got left? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. Ooh, dragonfly. Three, two, one. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's a big rocket. That's a big rocket. Wait for the sound. There you go. <laughs> Oh, here it comes. Oh, man. That shadow is just freaking monumental. I'm, that's just un. Oh, there was a manatee out there. They came to look when I looked for the look down at the shadow. There goes the separation. Oh, there goes. Saw it. The baby is cruising. I didn't hear George say how fast it was. We gotta make sure we catch the solar sails. 
<laughs> wow. I'm not There's sure. What's left? It's probably. Wow. That was impressive. There's what it looks like now, or a computer representation of it. What did you guys think? We're 22 minutes into flight right now, and you can't even see the the trail anymore, aside from just a few clouds here and there. Are you guys glad that we went to this launch? I certainly am glad that I made it out here. That was impressive. We were ridiculously close to that rocket. That's the closest I've ever been to a rocket or any launch, actually. You know, that's it was impressive. We're still doing face flight out of, sorry for the wind, out of the Kennedy Space Center. Just, just you just wait, there's gonna be way more. The ice crystals that are formed on the outside of the rocket as it goes up. Hey, look. Bill Nye. We call him old Bill Nye laptop head. All right, I'm glad I stuck around for a little bit. I got to meet Bill Nye. You ever had one of those awkward experiences where you're going to get your oil changed and you look up and the guy that's out there that's gonna change your oil is uh, your wife's uh, ex-boyfriend's friend from high school? Yeah. I think that's happening right now. Darn it, I was getting my oil changed and the guy saw me all dressed up for my interview with my NASA bag sitting on the floor, the thing next to me and my tweet up badge on. He's like, oh, what do you do? You work for NASA? And I froze. I was like, no, I don't work. I was just out there. I should have told him yes. What was stopping me? Nothing. Ah, darn it. Could have been an astronaut for a day. Oh, look at this. I don't think he's going to do it now. Do it. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good times. He's gonna break my. I already broke one of my windows. Oh yeah, it's yeah. back there. Oh, well, it's like it's all NASA, and then we're like, we're having a good time. There's people playing drums next to us and eating bananas. <laughs> I like how this video just randomly changed from like NASA sciency stuff to Outback Zach dancing in Chiz's uh, living room. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So apparently now it's time to pay the price. Thank you so much. Thanks.